Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. We're in the FA18C. It's August 2020, the latest patch is out, and we've got three changes to the lightning teapot. So just out of practice, I'm going to bum my master arm on, get my air to ground. I'm going to put my flur on. First thing to point out is that we now finally have our coordinates, which are shown here, lat long of the point that we are pointing to with the teapot, as well as the elevation of the land there, ASL. For us to the Grim Reapers, the most important feature of this is that we can then hand off that information. Let's say we've got a target. Uh, that guy there, we don't like the look of that chimney there. We can now hand off verbally that lat long and that guy there to someone else. Uh, a Hornet with a standoff weapon or MLRS and or artillery to bomb a certain point. So that's why we've been waiting for that and we're glad that we finally got that. Next is our North Arrow. This is actually a little bit confusing. It took me a while to get my head around this. But if we look there, we've got North and then two symbols. There's a ground plane line, that line there, and then an arrow pointing to North. Now if I were to zoom out and move my teapot around, you can see that the ground plane line and the arrow changes. And what that means is, if I just put my teapot up here for instance, so we can see that the ground plane line there is now relevant to the area there where we've got the teapot marked, as well as northing from that point there with the perspective of the camera as we've got it set, or the teapot as we've got it set, north is that way. And if we were to head that way, and this took me a while to get my head around because north is north. It should be the same angle from wherever you are within reason. But it's all about the perspective of where my teapot sensor is. So over here, the plane has slightly changed. It's now at that angle there. And north is now in that direction there. I hope that kind of makes sense because it took me a while. If I go to the horizon there, the ground plane is there. And north is now there due to the perspective and the angle that my camera's at. So that's there, and that's incredibly useful because there are some pylons there. There is a tank over there. I can now say to my JTAC or, my, or whatever, the tanks are north or east or west or south based on the arrow there by a certain distance. And that leads us right onto the next thing. This is really interesting, is the yardstick. One of the most useful things I found about some of the other T-Bods and DCS is the yardstick. Now finally I know how to use it. And this isn't planned, but this is absolutely perfect. You see there the elements of this crosshair. Him, him, him and him. Relative to the distance, perspective, angle, everything that we've got set here to that point there is the length as shown there. 73 metres. That there, 73 metres. And if that correlates to a pylon there, that means that's also 73 metres. Another way to rough this out, I'm a bit close for this, so this won't work very well, but you could say, if I put the yardstick there, and that there is 75 metres, I could say, if there was a tank there, look to the pylon at the westmost side, and we know that's west because of the arrow there, go 75 metres northwest, and you'll find the target. So this is how you're gonna be using your yardstick, your northing symbol and your coordinates. I hope that was useful and see you later.